Hi, I'm Ryan Quas for Griplock Systems. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to easily install the Griplock Art Suspension System, creating a modern and elegant look for your artwork. Let's first start with what we need for the job. A drill, a 732nd drill bit, a number two Phillips driver, a hacksaw if you don't have a chop saw, a large pair of scissors or X-Acto knife, a stud finder, and a pencil. The Griplock art system comes with aluminum art track, track cover, number eight screws, cables, grippers of your choosing depending on how you want to mount your artwork, and optional end cap. I've already prepared these tracks for mounting. Let's see how I did it. After measuring my wall, I cut the track to my desired length. I pre-drilled the track at each end and roughly every 16 inches in between. Note the holes at the end of the track. These are important and we'll get to them in a minute. I'm going to attach the track in the middle first and work my way out. You can put the track lower down the wall if you want, but it usually looks better right at the top. Also, there's usually a 2x4 header that you can screw into so you don't have to worry about where the studs in the wall are. Now that we have our last screw in, it's time for the track cover. This is the art track cover. As you can see, the barb is not in the center. The shorter end goes at the top, so it doesn't interfere with the ceiling. Now that we got our track cover up, we're gonna put these optional end cap covers on. Now you can put these on the ends of the tracks or in the corners. And our track cover comes in white, but you can paint to match your wall color. Now let's go hang some pictures. This is a typical wood frame picture. Most of the pictures you're gonna be hanging are like this. So today we're gonna to use the 15B3 gripper, which is ideal for these frames because it keeps the cable close to it. We mount it to the back of the frame, just below the top to hide it. If your frame already has hanging hardware attached, we have a wide variety of other grippers to accommodate your needs. Remember the escape holes we saw earlier? That's where we're gonna be adding the cables. And once in, as you can see, they just slide right across. Now we're going to feed the cables to the grippers. Once through, you want to make your adjustments and set the picture wherever you want. As you can see, it's extremely easy to make your adjustments. If you want to drop it back down, you can just press the plunger on both sides and bring it down. So once we have it set at the height we want, we we'll want to put a level on it to make the slight adjustments that we need. Once you have it set, you may also want to go back up to the top and move your cables back and forth so they stay parallel to each other. When you're done, you're going to have some excess cable. Don't worry about cutting it because it's probably going to fray really badly. So just go ahead and wrap it up in the back of the picture. You can tape it or just wrap it around it itself. But you're gonna to wanna to keep that excess because if you wanna add other pictures or take this down, it makes it very easy. If you have an aluminum or wood frame with hanging tabs, you can use any of our hook grippers. Today we're using our 15 GHA gated hook gripper. The snap hook prevents it from becoming unhooked. If you have a picture that is roughly the same width, you can add it to the same cables already hung. How about hanging a picture with just one cable? The cross cable gripper can do just that. The cross cable gripper is used on frames with picture wire. You have to find the balance point, but with the cross cable gripper, it's easy to do. And of course, you can add multiple pictures below it on the same cable. This is a picture between two sheets of acrylic. The side clamp gripper holds the two sheets of acrylic together as well as grips the cable. The guide clamps hold the sheets of acrylic together and keeps the picture upright. This also allows you to only adjust two points instead of four. And it's that easy. Today we suspended some relatively lightweight artwork, but depending on the cable and gripper combination you choose, you can suspend well over 100 pounds per gripper and cable combination. Remember, the grip lock system allows for easy tool-free height adjustments. So if this arrangement doesn't work for you, you can always change it. No holes in the wall, no mess.